Uh, the Philippine Pavilion opened last May 8, uh, and a vital part of its vision and discourse is the performance Dreaming Paglao of the Vid Medallia in collaboration with Adam and Curlins. It is but totally fitting uh, for these performances to belong to the Philippine Pavilion and offer another layer of insight and intelligence to the argument of world making from one of global art history's most important world makers, the Vid Medallia. Maybe this could be a good springboard for for a discussion, activism and political art. Uh, you had this famous uh, performance at the Cultural Center of the Philippines during the opening when you had this uh, Blitzkrieg uh, demonstration. So there was uh, a kind of avant-garde uh, sensibility that also been shaped by a strong political commitment against structures. So I was wondering how you were able to negotiate those tendencies across like, a certain avant-garde tradition or high modernism and the anxiety for national identity and also this activist uh, sensibility. Well, I've never had a problem about national identity because I've always been a Filipino, but the one thing in the 60s, 69 when I arrived, I was shocked. There were all these squatters on the sea, you know, and the government got rid of them because they were going to build a cultural center. And these were built by people like you. And I said, that's crazy. Why do we want to build something and destroy a beautiful bay? Because even the squatters were really like, nice to look, look at their own streets. And I said, that's a wrong place to put a cultural center. It destroyed the, 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 the beauty of that bay. And now it's completely destroyed. So that's why I made it. I made it. Yeah. And A year ago, I was in New York, I, I, and I visited an old school of mine, Columbia University. The physicists there this, uh, were pushing the idea of there is a stream, you know, called the string theory, that there's a stream that unites all the cosmos, black holes, and everything. Mr. Medallion's presence at the Philippine Pavilion provides another element to the Philippines' participation in the Biennale. It adds energy and dynamism to an already compelling return to the Biennale. First, Sitsiritsi Talibangbang, Salaginto, Salaguba. That, that's a beetle that's golden and... Ang babae sa lansangan. And the lady, this is very, very anti -pendant. Kung bumili, parang tanda. Ah, when, the, when they are in the street, they go like this. Look, she's doing it. Yeah, yeah. Mama, mama, na mama. Then you go around each other. Basa ka, hiniyaring bata. Pagdating sa Maynila, imagpalin ang manika. Santo Nino sa pandakan, utos eko sa tindakan. Kung ayaw mo magpautang, if you don't know how to land, how to give, you will be eaten by, by ants. <laughs> His, his ability to go into basically any situation and live and breathe what his art is to him. To connect with, with people on the street, to pick up little things, to, to really uh, um, 
see, see poetry and beauty in, in, in basically anything. I'm, I'm seeing him weaving together things in a much wider whole and, and that, that is, that's very, very inspiring for me and very encouraging to stick with these small things and, and allow them to breathe.